I'm on a bit of a roll and as I said in the end of my last video I decided to film many videos today because I've been horrendously disorganised and I haven't made a video in ages. And I'm talking about a hotly requested topic today which is mitosis and meiosis. Um, please don't get overly confused with this. The main thing you have to do is be able to just compare them. So for example, which one produces genetically identical cells? That'll be mitosis. Which one produces genetic variation? That'll be meiosis. Um, which one's used in normal body cells? Mitosis. Which one's used to create sex cells? Meiosis. I'm going to tell you why all these things are true, surely, but that's really all you need to know with this topic, so it's not actually as hard as you imagine. Um, so the crucial thing is, both mitosis and meiosis are examples of cell division. We just use either one for different situations. I'm just going to say a couple of key words here to make sure they're all on the same page and we're understanding. Do you remember that we have genes inside our nucleuses because the nuclei contain all the genetic information we found the genes we find the genes and structures called chromosomes and in each normal body cell you find that there are 23 pairs of chromosomes so that makes 46 altogether and I'm talking about a human here okay um, and we call that a diploid number of chromosomes and diploid just means that you contain two sets of chromosomes How, however there are circumstances when you only want to contain one set of chromosomes and we call this Haploid. So haploid means one set of chromosomes. What is this situation? Well, it's inside sex cells, gametes, such as sperm and egg. The reason being that when a sperm meets an egg at fertilisation, you have to have a grand total of 23 chromosomes, i.e. one set meeting 23 chromosomes, the second set, in order to produce two sets of chromosomes, which is 46, in order to maintain the chromosome number. If you had two sets of chromosomes meeting two sets of chromosomes, you'd end up with a whacking 92 chromosomes, and obviously that wouldn't work and it wouldn't be a viable offspring. So that is why we have to halve the number of chromosomes effectively in meiosis. So remember, haploid contains one set of chromosomes, diploid contains two. Right, where was I going with this? Okay, so cell division. We need to divide our cells um, for lots of reasons. So for one reason, one reason is for growth, the second reason is for repair. Sometimes you damage your skin and it is important, for example if you cut yourself, that the cell that replaces the damaged skin cell is genetically identical, it's exactly the same because if it's not, that might lead to some uncontrolled cell division which might lead to cancer and a tumour. So it's not what you want. You want your original cell to be replaced with the exact same cell and we call that type of cell division mitosis because what happens is the parent cell copies itself and produces two genetically identical daughter cells and these are clones. So remember a clone is a genetically identical cell or individual. Okay, so we are copying our cells and therefore we only need one parent cell and we produce two daughter cells and they are genetically identical and this is an example of asexual reproduction. It's very straightforward, it happens very quickly and it only requires one parent so there's some relative advantages of mitosis. Meiosis is different. I've already alluded to the fact that you're going to be producing cells that contain a haploid number of chromosomes. The crucial thing about meiosis is it creates genetic variation. And how does it do that? Well, what it's doing is you copy the chromosomes, but before they divide, they swap over portions of each chromosome to create genetic variety. And then the cells divide twice, producing four cells, each with half the number of chromosomes. This is what we use for sexual reproduction and it creates genetic variation which is very important from an evolution natural selection point of view because obviously if the conditions change you want some individual some individuals will be more likely to survive because they're better adapted they'll pass on their genes to their offspring hmm. that was a little little side note into natural selection there the crucial thing with meiosis is that you produce four daughter cells they're genetically different and it is used to produce um, gametes such as sperm and eggs Hmm, have I remembered everything? Oh well, if I can't remember it now, then it will remain forever not part of my video.